It was an official confirmation from Vladimir Putin, but when asked about the head of the Wagner military group, the Russian president spoke of Yevgeny Prigozhin in the past tense. I knew Prigozhin for a very long time, since the early 90s. He was a man with a complex destiny, and he made serious mistakes in life. He achieved the results he needed, both for himself and when I asked him for the common cause, as in these last months. He was a talented person, a talented businessman. Questions continue to swirl since Wednesday's plane crash northwest of Moscow. Prigozhin was on the passenger list and is presumed to be among the 10 people who were killed. U.S. and other officials say that initial intelligence reports indicate that an explosion on board may have brought down the plane, a theory consistent with witnesses who said they heard a series of blasts before the plane spiraled down from above. The crash happening two months to the day that Putin's former ally led a short-lived and extraordinary mutiny against the Kremlin, marching his troops toward the Russian capital. He ultimately abandoned the revolt, but many observers say it was a betrayal that would cost Prigozhin his life. He could not be pardoned, he could not be forgiven, and uh, it seems that uh, what took place uh, two months just after the mutiny is, uh, is a little bit like a, a, a revenge uh, served cold by, uh, by Putin. Prigozhin's second-in-command, Dmitry Utkin, was also on the passenger list and presumed dead. With Wagner's troops spread across Ukraine, Africa and the Middle East, there are questions about the future of the mercenary group and what happens next.